first, plants might not seem all that exciting. And you might wonder, why must I learn about plants? But plants are so important for life. They are producers, which means that they're the main support for food webs. Many medications that we have today are derived from plants. They produce oxygen for us to breathe by the photosynthesis that they do. Not to say that everything that does photosynthesis is necessarily a plant. Algae, for example, it does photosynthesis and it is not a plant. But plants do play a major role in oxygen production. You know how there are many different types of animals. Well, there are many different types of plants as well. To get to plant structure, we need to outline two major plant categories, vascular and non-vascular. Recall that in the human body, your vascular system includes arteries and veins. Well, plants don't have arteries, or blood for that matter. When we're talking about a vascular system in plants, we're talking about two major types of tubes or vessels called the xylem and phloem. The xylem carries water. Xylem is found throughout a vascular plant. Water is absorbed from the roots of a vascular plant and carried upwards. Roots are specially designed to help anchor plants and also to absorb the water found in the soil that they are in. The phloem carries sugars, which are typically produced in the leaves of the plants during photosynthesis. This sugar is their food source that plants make in photosynthesis. It needs to be carried throughout the plant. The phloem might start with a P, but you know, it has that same F sound that food has, so it helps me remember that it carries the plant's food. If a plant is non-vascular, it does not have vessels like the xylem and phloem. However, it still needs water and it still produces sugar. It can't carry water upwards in the xylem because it doesn't have one. That means non-vascular plants typically are limited in size. A giant tree needs a xylem for water transport. That water's being carried against gravity. Non-vascular plants instead get their water by osmosis, kind of like soaking up water like a sponge. A great example of a non-vascular plant is moss. So remember, vascular plants, they have xylem and phloem, vascular tissue, and non-vascular plants, they don't.